How is it going guys? Mutemwa here back again with another video. In today's video, I'll show you how to color correct in Lightroom. And the reason I've been doing tutorials with these um, uh, photos is because I haven't been doing so many outdoor shoots and I mo believe most of my viewers right here or most of my people who uh, watch my videos are upcoming photographers and most of them maybe use natural light and most of them don't have studio and most of the time they shoot outdoor and in today's video i just show you how to get amazing images with natural light or to color correct in lightroom and no further ado let's get into the video uh if you're using photoshop 2023 the first step is to do is to change color color <coughs> The first process is to change color profile. So I'll go ahead and I won't select any here and just come here and select browse and then come down here and select um, faithful fashion too. Any other uh, can work for you, but for me, I can either select faithful or landscape version two. And when you zoom in your image, you can see it's, you already have some amazing tones, but you need to also uh, let's go ahead and perfect so that everything will look very perfect and well contrasted so You can see how much it changes when you select the uh, landscape of faithful fashion too. Those are the best um, uh, Matching you can select camera matching you can select so landscape version fashion two last landscape of faithful That's okay with me. So what I'll do next. I'll come here and come select close and come back here and push the temperature to this side slightly and leave at the tint at where it is right now and then go ahead and push the contrast inside like that and let's reduce the highlights slightly and let's reduce the whites slightly and let's darken slightly that's looking amazing right now and then i'll come down here and um uh, you can see all you have this adjustment graph or tone curve right here. So what you can do select the uh, The blues and you can either push it down to get a warm image or Push it up slightly to cool down your image and let's see uh, Before and after you can see how much you have done so far So I'll come down here and let's reduce the saturation slightly because we don't want so much saturation on the image Because remember this is just color correction. We haven't done anything in Photoshop or for color grading or anything and let's come down here and on the you can see on the We have just uh, finished work on the image. So we want to work on the background So I'll come to greens and push them to this side and come to saturation and let's reduce the greens slightly there and let's reduce the yellows slightly or you can increase the yellows to get that uh, golden background there and let's push the yellows to brighten either brighten or reduce work uh, with what really makes you happy and let's push this slightly that that way and let's come back to our basic adjustments and let's push the contrast inside like that and let's increase the clarity don't too much because we don't want to make our image look uh, so fake. Uh, this is already looking very nice. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll just come down here and sharpen slightly and then come down here and re reduce the noise slightly. Perfect. And let's zoom in. We see the before and after. You can see how much uh, difference we have. Let me zoom out slightly. You can see the difference. This is how we shot our images and this after uh, color correcting in Lightroom. And then after all this, you can just go ahead and edit in Photoshop and you now perfect the color grading and the, the uh, toning. So that's how I color correct my images in Lightroom. So if you learned something from this video, make sure you uh, stay tuned for the studio one on how I color correct my uh, studio images. Uh, see you in the next uh, video. Peace out.